about the stunning violence plaguing his city. Chicago murder rate, record setting, 4,331 shooting victims, 762 murders in 2016. If mayor can't do it, he must ask for federal help. To put that, to put that in perspective, the number of murders in Chicago this year, um, and by this year, excuse me, I mean last year, 2016, 24 times the number of Americans killed in Iraq and Afghanistan in all of 2016. Dr. James Peterson is the director of Africana Studies at Lehigh University. He is also an MSNBC contributor. Bill Bratton is the executive chairman of Taneo Risk and also an MSNBC senior law enforcement national security analyst. For the purpose of this conversation, uh, police commissioner in New York, uh, Boston, and Los Angeles as well. Uh, Dr. Peterson, I'm going to start with you there because this is how the mayor's office responded. Quote, we agree the federal government has a strong role to play in public safety by funding summer jobs and prevention programming for at-risk youth, by holding the criminals who break out gun laws accountable for their crimes, by passing meaningful gun laws, and by building on the partnerships uh, our police have with federal law enforcement. That's coming from Mayor Rahm Emanuel's office. Is that the solution right there in a nutshell? I don't think that's the complete solution, Craig. I mean, this is a really complicated um, problem. I think one piece of Mayor Rahm Emanuel's statement is true, which is we've got to address some of the structural issues, and that has to do with an eroding sort of infrastructure around education and jobs for young people. And if you want to think long term about how to address the tough problems in Chicago, that's certainly one pathway forward. However, that can be done at the municipal level, the state level, and the federal level, so he can't put that all on the federal government. There's certainly things Things that can be done locally to address some of the structural challenges but Craig we've, we've got to understand this challenge from a sort of got to back up a little bit and take a look at the sort of big picture if you think about the ways in which the media has covered Chicago over the last several years you think about cases like Rakia Boyd uh, think about Tyshawn Lee the young boy who was uh, shot in gang retaliation think about the Laquan McDonald video and all the sort of false reporting around that you can see that there's been some irreparable damage done between the law enforcement um, and, and the community and the community that they're charged with protecting and so there's got to be a local effort to try to repair those issues because when the police can't be trusted um, and and law enforcement are a little bit skittish about videos and how videos are being used um, and then there's some indication there's some corruption in the police department based upon reporting and falsifying reports there are a lot of challenges that have got to be directly handled at the local level in order to solve this problem Craig and listen it's not going to get solved in, 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 in a couple of months this is long-term sustained effort required to address those structural issues first Commissioner, what should the, um, the federal government's role be in, in fixing Chicago? It can play a part. It is not the solution. Never has been, never will be. Uh, it can play a part in supporting some of the initiatives that have been talked about, uh, jobs, uh, uh, education. Uh, certainly in crime suppression, crime prevention particularly, uh, coordination between the federal agencies, FBI, DEA, all the various agencies, collaboration. Uh, I would point out New York City, Los Angeles, two cities I have a lot of intimacy with, have nowhere near uh, the same amount of crime levels as Chicago, but have many of the same problems. Joblessness, uh, gangs, uh, the gangs in LA are certainly much larger and more prolific than those in Chicago, but they commit much less crime. So that uh, the issue here is it has to be a multifaceted set of initiatives. The feds are a part of it, but not uh, the panacea. Well, one, of the, one of the working theories uh, in Chicago, Commissioner, is, is that part of what's happened, um, and not to oversimplify it, but gangs have broken down or been broken down uh, to a certain extent over the last decade or so in, in Chicago, and there now exists this, this power vacuum. Um, what, what say you to that, that, that if we had the Chicago gangs of the 80s, we might not be seeing the, the, the homicides in record numbers that we're seeing now. Well, L.A. still has the Chicago-style gangs of the 80s and 90s, like Chicago. L.A. was the birthplace of many of the major gangs, Crips and Bloods. And LAPD, L.A. Sheriff's Department have learned to deal with those large, organized types of entities. In New York City, we've always had much smaller gangs called crews here similar to what's going on in Chicago at the moment. So the idea that Chicago's situation is somehow uh, different than what other cities are dealing with, uh, it has different elements possibly, but solution to its issues, once again, I think they can look elsewhere for places where suppression 
and I don't mean suppression in a negative sense, but reduction significantly in crime is occurring. New York City this past year had the lowest crime rate in modern history. Even Los Angeles, while it's had an uptick, is nowhere near the levels that uh, Chicago or 20 some odd other American cities are experiencing. Dr. Peterson, President Obama is scheduled to deliver his uh, farewell address, shall we say, next week um, in Chicago. Um, what, what do we need to hear from the president? Is there anything that, that, uh, that he can say at this point that hasn't been said that's going to bring down the numbers there at all? Well, I, I think one thing I'd love to see from President Obama um, when he makes his address here is to really lift up the different local entities and different initiatives that are trying to do the work on the ground. When you think about organizations like the Young uh, Leaders Alliance or the Coalition for a New Chicago, I mean, there, there are a number of different entities on the ground that are trying to address these issues. Um, those uh, entities require support. Uh, that's human resources as well as capital resources to continue to do the kind of work that they're doing. And it would be interesting to hear from President Obama what what his vision is going forward for addressing these kinds of challenges in his sort of adopted home city. And I think lifting up the local initiatives that are organizing around these issues is one way of thinking about it, and then providing some prescriptions for how we get at some of those structural issues. You can't talk about addressing these issues simply through law enforcement. I think the commissioner is exactly right here that we've got to think about poverty. You've got to think about education. You've got to think about access to jobs. You have to think about the 3 to 6 p.m. hours after school. There are a lot of different ways that we can address structural challenges, but those are long-term responses, Greg, that require sustained initiative over a long period of time in order to see results. And the way we cover this in the media, where we look at these, since we look at the, the, the murder rate numbers, or we look at the videotape for Laquan McDonald, or the shooting, uh, awful shooting of Rakia Boyd, or the shooting of Ty Sean Lee, we look at these sensational moments, and we don't think about the systematic issues that are at play in terms of thinking yeah. critically about the pathway forward for addressing some of these challenges. Commissioner, really quickly, if you were running the Chicago Police Department and, and and you had to figure out a way to get these numbers down uh, in 2017. What's the first thing that you would do? They've already started it. Superintendent of the Police has started uh, looking at New York. And I'd suggest look at L.A. also because many of the ideas we used in New York were taken from L.A. during my time there. Uh, there are American success stories that uh, you can model yourself after. But the good news is he is understanding that he doesn't have all the answers. He's going to locations where they have found some solutions, not the total solution. Commissioner Bratton, always good to have you. Dr. Peterson, good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Great. Uh, let's take a look at the responses to that Microsoft Pulse question we pose at the beginning of the broadcast for scrapping.